All right, today I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use a 3D printer and we're gonna build a one of one replica of my... All right, so let's get started. First, you're gonna need a 3D printer. This one costs about $250 and it comes in pieces, so you're gonna have to build it. I'm gonna link you to a video where the guy teaches you how to build this in under an hour because the instructions are almost impossible. Okay, now it's built. All right, first off, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to pull out this SD card because this is what we're gonna put the information on to build something. All right, now that you have your SD card, let's make a one of one replica. Next, we have a precise measurement tool. All we have to do now is measure. Okay, so we measured and we're at 0.8 inches. Something must be wrong here. 20, 20, 20, mil, 20 millimeters. All right, so you're gonna need two programs. One is called Kira, and one is called Fusion 360. Fusion 360 is where you build stuff. Uh, it's where you design stuff, and Kira is where you uh, put stuff on the, uh, the... Okay, so you don't need Fusion 360. You can download all the files on the site called Thingiverse. I, I, it's got so many different files. You can download pretty much anything you can think of. Someone's already created it, so it saves you a lot of time. Okay, now we're in Fusion 360. This is where we'll start designing all of our stuff. First, we're gonna start off with the ball and then we're gonna start making our whole unit. And can you believe that? Look how fast that was. Full 360 view right now. All we have to do is export this in an STL file so we can upload to Kira. All right, it's uploaded to Kira. Now we can slice it and we could use it for the printer. All we have to do is do a full 360 of it, make sure this is exactly what we need and the size, and we can print it out. All right, so we got the file, now let's start printing. First, what you wanna do is you wanna turn on the printer. All right, next we're gonna preheat the bed because if you don't heat it up, it's not gonna stick to anything. So we're gonna go to prepare and then go all the way down to preheat PLA. There's different filament you can get, but this is PLA, this is the cheapest. It's only about $20, I'll link it from blah, 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 blah. All right, so now it's heating up. We can put the SD card in here. Oh, it's a micro SD, I don't, what is it? Micro, 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 micro is the theme today. Next, we're gonna go to print and select our file. Here it is. And now it's starting. We should set the temperature to 220 degrees. It's set at 200, but I do like 220. It just keeps it a, lot of, a little bit hotter. All right, next we're gonna use a little bit of glue to make this stick really good. All right, once it gets up to maximum temperature, which it is at right now, it should start moving by itself. Uh, 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 hopefully. There we go, now it's moving. Oh, look at it go. All right, we'll see it when it's done. Uh, the size is a little different than I remember. <laughs> what is? <laughs> All right, so here it is, the custom 3D printed, one of one scale, and now it could be used as a keychain or uh, you can go f All right, go build your 3D stuff and I'll leave the source file for this in the description. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. Get your own keychain.